I was at Herald Square and uh, every day, you know, in the evening around 6 o'clock, there's this amazing golden light. Even better than right now, it's like the golden hour, right? And you'll see literally every photographer you know. <laughs> it's like the golden hour social hour at Herald Square. Like that day, I happened to see George and the light tends to really concentrate around the corner like over by all the halal carts. It's pretty great, there's like some smoke. People are just walking by and all of a sudden I see two bros with Make America Great hats. Which I've been kind of collecting because it's, it's a little weird to see them in New York City, you know what I mean? Like uh, Make America Great hats. Not only that, it's also like, uh, for whatever reason, people think the camera makes them uncomfortable. And I feel like with Make America Great hats, like I can kind of, <laughs> Take the power back a little bit from these bros. They walk by, I take their photo, and I probably got what I needed, but I wanted to be a little bit obnoxious, I'm gonna admit. So I took the extra photo. Kind of was like confirmation that I was, yeah, I was singling them out. So then but they confront me, uh, you know, what are you doing taking my photo? You know, I'm sure they tried to tell me it was like illegal or whatever. They were they're starting to get into it. They went to grab the cops to uh, basically tattle on me. I made them uncomfortable for five seconds. But then there's this... Uh, Forever. All the rest of it. Uh, oh, thanks. Past it, doing oh. So they went to get the cops, but what is also unique about Hell Square during this golden hour is there's just like Korean Jesus evangelist who is every street photographer's best friend and enemy because she will just like latch onto you, take you on a journey basically, speak in tongues, tell me, tell you Jesus bless you. And I kind of love her, uh, even though she's literally the craziest person in New York City. But in this particular instance, while these bros were getting into it, the Jesus lady comes over, she grabs me by the arm, and she just drags me away from this scenario, from this situation, like all the way to where we're standing. But she's talking to me, and I'm like, yeah, I got away from it. But I look back, and of course, it's our uh, brown friend George with Trump supporters and four cops. Five. NYPD counter-terrorist cops walk over and asking, you know, what are we doing? You know, why are we taking people's photos? Chris ran off uh, and left me to the wolves. It wasn't even that I didn't want to engage with them. It's just that you really don't have that much light, you know? And I, I could see the sun going away. I'm like, these cops are taking... I, I work Monday through Friday. I got off work. I traveled all the way in the city from Brooklyn to shoot this golden hour in Held Square. And they basically, they're wasting my time. That was the most annoyed part for me, is that uh, they're wasting my golden hour. So I look back over and I'm like, all right, yeah, I have to walk back over that. We spent maybe about 10 minutes explaining what the situation was, why we take photos, that we're allowed to take the photos. Um, I continued to photograph in the area simply to make a point. It was basically like uh, cops kind of like cops explaining me how to do photography, you know. They gave me some really like relevant suggestions like, why don't you take it from farther away and then blow it up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I remember the cops saying that it might be legal, but it doesn't mean that you can be rude. Or they gave me some other like really unique scenarios I never thought of. Like essentially like, uh, you know, have you, you know, uh, I had gotten a zoom lens, you know, some really uh, things that I'd never really mulled over before. Instead of defending our right to photograph, he sided with the Trump supporters and, you know, basically said we're being assholes. I felt bad that I kind of like ran away and put on George. I think I should have just like stuck it out.